हेलो हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल सो जस्ट अ सेकेंड आल बी शेयरिंग माई स्क्रीन या कूल सो हाई एवरी वन माई नेम इज यश जगताप आई वर्क एज अ डेवलपर रिलेशन इंजीनियर एट डेटा वर्स ओ एस एंड टूडे आई एम हेयर टू लाइक हेल्प यू गेट स्टार्ट विथ बिल्डिंग एप्स ऑन डेटा वर्स ओ एस First, I'll tell you a bit about what DataVerse OS is, and then we'll go through some uh, key concepts of DataVerse OS to help you understand the system. Then I'll do a b- brief bounty description to talk about what uh, what's the idea that we want you guys to build during the hackathon. And in the end, I'll also walk you through a simple uh, demo code along and with some actual coding to show you on how to start uh, developing on DataVerse OS. So let me give you a brief introduction to our team before all that. Uh, so for years ownership labs has been committed to using blockchain technology to address the issue of data ownership and most recently uh, and like most recently we developed dataverse os which is a next gen personal computer owned by the wallet as a solution so what does it mean when i say that dataverse os is a personal computer owned by a wallet right so it is an internet operating uh, data operating system that manages your online data for users and eases the development of sovereign data decentralized applications so in order to reshape the internet of today and create a web3 data paradigm dataverse os was built on top of decentralized web3 stacks web3 data refers to the data that is computed by the dapps saved in personal clouds sovereign by users and protected by wallets we often ha- uh, we have often emphasized the importance of giving uh, users true data ownership back in our opinion it is not sufficient to only acknowledge this ownership we also believe that consumers should be able to profit from their personal data as a result we create dataverse os as a universal doorway to web3 which not only stores data but also encourages its uh, creation Uh, and also stores data but also uh, unlocks its full potential and fuels the data economy so dataverse os is composed of uh, three high level components uh, which are the dataverse cloud which is the user centric storage fully owned by your identity a cloud drive to store visualize and monetize all your data assets is stored on that dataverse cloud then there's dataverse wallet it is a chrome extension uh, which is a crypto wallet ma- that manages both your token and as well as your data assets so and the third one is the dapp store so dapp store is uh, basically the uh, ecosystem of the dapps that is built on top of dataverse so it's a like secure open and innovative platform to discover and experience the latest decentralized apps okay so first i'll give a brief introduction to the data wallet So the data wallet is a Chrome ex- a Chrome browser extension and that is a gateway to web3 dapps to safely holding users identities and resources. So a dataverse wallet is a web3 crypto wallet that manages both your finances and the personal data. Uh, we can say that it is a fully featured uh, cryptocurrency wallet with additional functionalities. So uh, beyond sending like transaction NFTs and interacting with the defi etc you can also create visualize and manage your data in a decentralized manner this wallet acts as a gateway to decentralized apps so it also prevents malicious applications from stealing your personal data without your consent so the wallet is designed to protect user signatures and resources authenticated via sign in with ethereum that is siwe so uh, also like before development in this uh, hackathon i recommend you all to update the extension to the latest version if you have and if not uh, i would love uh, request you all to uh, download this uh, wallet to like interact with the dataverse os applications 
so the dataverse wallet introduces a uh, new wallets in wallets architecture for cryptocurrency wallets so we have enabled the users to plug in and connect with dataverse os using any wallet that they have already installed so it eases the evolution of crypto wallets from just the token management to managing both your money and personal data right so it works like as an aggregator for uh, normal cryptocurrency wallets like metamask coinbase and it provides a complete portfolio view and allows you to trade across all the assets to connect and connect to any decentralized application with one wallet meanwhile dataverse wallet brings new data functionality to all the existing wallets by plugging into the dataverse wallet your current wallet gains the abilities like decentralized data storage data monetization data unions and more so the architecture that i talked about wallets in wallets that creates a seamless experience for uh, users and developers so they uh, they can also continue using their preferred wallet while unlocking the full potential of web3 data management offered by the dataverse os so we also like uh, further optimize the ease of use and functionality of the wallet by integrating like account abstraction in the future uh, yeah so the main important point now so the dataverse cloud so the dataverse cloud is a personal cloud drive where you truly own your data so the traditional cloud storage is centralized while the user stored data and calculated on someone else's server so the dataverse cloud is built upon decentralized data networks where the user has the high sovereignty over the data in the cloud drive so it is a decentralized user centric storage fully owned by your identity a cloud drive to store visualize and monetize all your data assets so it is a personal cloud drive where you truly own your data so like if you have seen in the traditional cloud storage is centralized and uh, so we also provide programmable file sharing and access control so users can monetize the file accesses such as setting whitelist or issuing nft access tokens meanwhile developers can freely uh, program access conditions and rules at the same time the native data monetization mechanism allows users to sell access to their data in the form of individual files that is a data token developers can also build the uh, data economies on that so a decentralized file system that is encrypted and only accessible by users themselves so we believe that the user should be in control of their data and not the other way around all data generated during interactions uh, with during user interactions with the os powered apps will be stored in this file system it's a file system to uh, visualize and manage all your data over different applications so as you uh, everything is a file right so what that means is your creations your interest your contributions your social interactions uh, your contributions to the dao and more all these things are stored as a file in this personal cloud all of these will be automatically saved into this file system and with this private data space we want everyone to gain back control of the internet so like even dataverse team don't do not have access to any of these so uh, now i want to talk about why we have built this operating system and what makes it different from traditional operating systems but before we like deep dive into details i would like to take a trip through the history of data to have some context here so uh, just to clarify when i talk about data in this context i am referring to all the information that can be digitized or stored electronically so at first we got personal computers we interact with softwares on our pc and the data generated was stored in our hard disks so at this stage we actually had the control of our own data but the thing is it's not like uh, really uh, easy for other people to access it right so it's like we are all living in our own little data cubes and there's no measure for sharing and making the data flow then came the internet which is the cloud version which totally changed the game right suddenly data could be flow freely between different devices and we could access all sorts of cool stuff online right however this is also the uh, i would say the beginning when we started losing control over our data because of the centralization of today's internet all the computing and storage happens in a centralized way so in this stage we have like given up our data sovereignty in exchange for all the convenience of the internet so now we look at comet web3 
so web3 is the internet where data is computed and stored in a decentralized way that's why we came up with dataverse os it's a like next gen personal computer right so in decentralized it's on the cloud it's self controlled basically we designed this system by replacing the traditional pc hardware like cpu memory and hard disk we decentralized infra such as blockchain then storage databases and so on these infrastructures can help us give the complete control over data back to the users the next gen personal computer is like the giant leap to take to the best of both the convenience of the cloud and the security and privacy of a local pc so yeah uh, in summary dataverse os will have the is like a control land managed protocols uh, like ceramic lit and it makes it easier for developers to create all uh, sites uh, sorts of cool applications on top of these protocols uh yeah so these are some of the resources for you to get uh, started so first is the our uh, official website that is dataverseos.com then we have the developer documentation then we have our uh, github then these are some of the sample uh, dabs that are being uh, that have been built on top and we have also provided a hackathon guide where uh, we have i'll be uh, sh showing you all of these uh, stuff so first i'll uh, walk you through the website yeah uh, so basically uh, as you can see we uh, it's a web3 native uh, operating system so uh, yeah no just let me go over here yeah uh, sorry i don't have my data wallet installed on this so that's why i'm going on my local uh, yeah so when i click on connect identity it like pops out uh, open my chrome web store yeah so you can uh, see that we already have 4000 plus active uh, people are using uh, dataverse wallets so while clear let me just see if it's connected Check my MetaMask over here. Okay. Meanwhile, also I'll show you the uh, documentation for the DataVerse. So we have like this updated uh, version. We recently updated to uh, the latest version. So you can see over here. And for developers, we have uh, this create DataVerse application, which is a CLI tool. Let me just open that uh, hackathon guide. I'm not sure where I can access it. Let me. Uh, just a second, guys. Till then, I can just see if it's accessible. Yeah. Uh, so. This is the uh, notion page that we have shared with everyone. So I would like everyone to like go through this and you can see what Dataverse OS is. Then uh, this is a brief introduction about what we do. Uh, this is the past hackathons that we have done, then the past hackathon winners. And we have some, uh, so first one is the Create Dataverse app. So this is a command line tool that we have uh, developed to help developers create a Dataverse app from scratch. And then we have the uh, Dataverse connector, which are some of the system calls that to uh, that that is that's the JavaScript SDK that for apps you to connect to the Dataverse cloud. So we support many uh, system calls of like monetizing, then creating the stream and everything. Then uh, yeah, so let's I'll for the simple demo, uh, I would like you all to like uh, I'll be creating this a simple create Dataverse app application. So let's uh, start with that. I'll be following the documentation here. Yeah. Uh, so for uh, ease of uh, app, like installing the dependencies and all, uh, we need pnpm uh, to install the create dataverse app CLI or even the to like interact with the dataverse connector. So like just install this. I have already installed in my machine, so I won't be uh, doing this. 
so uh, if you don't have please go ahead and uh, do this step next one is uh, initializing the uh, create dataverse app so uh, sorry uh, installing the uh, dataverse app uh, cli so this will uh, give you let me just go and uh, open my terminal over here uh, i'll just increase the size not sure if you guys can see i'll, I'll just increase it more yeah uh, so let's i already have dataverse os dash v so as you can see the latest version uh, after installing this particular command of uh, install dash global create dataverse app you can check your version using this uh, dash v command so it should give you 1.0.6 as the uh, latest version of your application so uh, after that you can just uh, see various type of uh, functions that we provide for creating the application so yeah uh, as you can see version help and then these are some of the pro uh, like commands that we use to create dataverse application so the init command is used to initialize the project then deploy uh, deploy command is used to deploy then update is to uh, after like deploying if we have to update our project we use this command and then the key pair so as i mentioned that uh, each application that you uh, make or create that is all owned by you and your wallet so this key pair you can uh, like consider your env file and give your private key to uh, deploy that to the dataverse and we have the help command right so let's go to the desktop i'll create a directory here uh, lift the code demo right so i'll just uh, cd into that yeah so we are in the directory so i'll initialize the uh, dataverse project so that is dataverse os init and uh, demo this is the app name then press enter then uh, add toolkits so the toolkits is basically uh, this is in still in production yet but uh, i'll give you a brief introduction about what toolkits are so uh, this is something that we have built uh, the decentralized toolkits so it is a series of toolkits to ease the integration uh, of as you can see here uh, so we have uh, toolkits uh, in the form of push protocol and then live peer i can also show you here yeah so this is our official github and in this repo you can see the uh, dweb toolkit section so for now we have uh, table land live peer push xmtp lens snapshot so we have eased all your uh, like if you want to integrate these three uh, these protocols with dataverse it can be done easily with the help of dweb toolkits so that's the uh, main point uh, using that for, for this uh, i would say no i don't want yeah uh, so you can see here uh, it's checking the package version then the latest version validating app name and it's done so uh, i'm just following these commands that we have already given over here so you can cd into the demo and let's let us open in the vs code yeah uh, so this is the boilerplate that we give uh, using the create dataverse uh, cli right uh, so first the uh, most important file over here is, here is the dataverse.config.ts so uh, as you can see uh, this contains uh, if you have seen the yaml file or the package.json these, these contain all the dependencies that you are going to have in your project so uh, name is basically the name of your example then the logo and website here you can uh, for testing purposes you can add the uh, local host uh, 3000 uh, for like verification then we uh, the default folder name and then description and here comes the part of models so models are basically the data models that you will be creating so is public domain is going to uh, if you say this as false then no uh, and okay let me just go into the fold uh, models folder so as you can see uh, this is the models folder and we have post.graphql and profile.graphql so we have given this uh, boilerplate uh, what we can say schemas data models for you to uh, take reference from 
and what we are doing here is we have uh, selected those and we have given uh, the schema name is given as th those models and is public domain what it does is if you uh, like set it to true then other people that are using uh, that want to build applications that they can make use of your particular data model in their application so that's the use of this uh, true and false and is public domain and encryptable is uh, whatever text images or videos what we uh, that we want to insert under that data model it just says that do we want to encrypt that or not right so uh, also for the models folder uh, as i've mentioned that these are the boilerplate that we have given and this fs is uh, i recommend you all to do not touch this file this is something that dataverse os has the internal control uh, not uh, control <laughs> by that i mean just uh, we like take care of the some internal structures of the folders using these particular schemas so do not touch this file but you can add your data models uh, from here so for example i can add one no not here sorry into the models folder i'll just add comment dot graphql right and for that let me just uh, refer the documentation over here and yeah uh, as you can see in the documentation we have mentioned pretty well the outline and then the dataverse whatever i have mentioned you can all just uh, go through this to see what actually each and everything means so yeah uh, as i mentioned that uh, we have a post model over here that we have shown in the reference post.graphql now if we want to add one uh, if you are creating a decentralized social media application that uh, as you know like decentralized twitter or something you can have the uh, let's create a new one i'll copy this and in our new one i'll create new model called comment and then i'll add one more uh, parameter to that uh, let's say we have here in the we just yeah so this is the one more parameter that can be added here cool so this is basically uh, this will able let you be able to uh, do comments under for that particular uh, data model so let me just uh, go through here and yeah uh, so as i uh, you can know this is the basic applications that we are trying to build now uh, we have to deploy this particular uh, application for that you need your uh, key pair to take care of that so let me just go and copy the key pair where's my yeah cool so what this will do is this will create a uh, if uh, you can also like deploy through your particular address but for this demo purposes i am creating one here for myself uh, key uh, key pair like the public address and the private key uh, cool so as you can see guys this is the address and the private key and the public key so now we'll be making like uh, let us install those uh, new dependencies just go cool 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 so uh, yeah so these are just some warnings for me i'll take care of that later yeah uh, and uh, after like installing all the let me just go over and you and show you what are the things that we are installing so uh, this is the dataverse connector then the compose db so these are some of the packages that come inbuilt with the dataverse apps C uh, create dataverse app cli so we are installing uh, those packages uh, we'll just wait for it to uh, like finish installing uh till then no oh, i think it should be done any minute now till then i can just uh, show you a really cool application that okay no it has been done <laughs> sorry uh so as you can see that uh, we the dependencies that are added 
then the dev dependencies and these are, this is the structure or what we are going to use so we also have support for wagmi and rainbow kit which are like the most uh, used applications so let me just go here and uh, deploy the app to the dataverse uh, dap table so for deploying it is says that please uh, input your private key so for that we have created uh, over here as you can see i'll just copy this and oh sorry wow apple music cool <laughs> so sorry for that so here i've pasted my private key and enter so as you can see we are deploying with the amount uh, account that we uh, have created the test account and as you can see that uh, it is creating the create dataverse app the name and it it has been created successfully and this is the dap id of your particular decentralized application that you have built and you can just uh, check the info on the dap uh, so yeah the output folder gets generated and app.json is the data of the file so let's go and check it out so as you can see we have got a new uh, folder called output and we have app.json in here so for that as you can see uh, we have the uh, id then the created updated these are the timestamps then the name website and as you, uh, as i have mentioned that the models folder that we have built so uh, as you can see these are the models that we were able to uh, like we have created so these were uh, created in here so there's the schema for that then the public domain that we have built so uh, you can basically talk to these uh, whatever uh, models that you have deployed using these particular model ids as you can see over here so uh, let me just uh, show you quickly the demo for that yeah so wait not here yeah pnpm dev let me just copy this and let's go over here and run it yeah uh, so as you guys can see this is uh, the demo app that the, we have right now just built that we the connect button then i like i'm not sure why okay connect wallet cool so uh, as you can see that after uh, connecting wallet we can see that dataverse os the extension has the support for metamask wallet connect coinbase and particle so you are free to use of your choice we are the metamask maxis so i personally use this uh just go to this account sorry just a second i'll try to see what's the issue right now Just a second, I am not sure what is happening over here. Actually, the <laughs> thing I am using the uh, local extension because that's in the production. I think it must have like broken, but the uh, extension from here uh, from the create the official Chrome Web Store that. Works right now. Not sure why this is not able to work. But yeah, uh, let me just go to a new terminal. If you can see, CD demo.
so uh, this is one of the application that I have ran so let me just do this one as well I know like these workshops are always crazy they're broken breaking changes huh. let's see connect to the Mumbai chain I'm not sure what's the issue here after like connecting So yeah, uh, I'm not sure why like it's not uh, giving me some breaking changes. It's like problem with my system, I guess. Till then, let me just show you our the the dataverse connector functions. again yeah uh, so as I've mentioned let me just go to our documentation real quick where's our documentation page on it again yeah uh, so for the uh, APIs that we have mentioned here you can see the create dataverse app can be created from this and this is the uh, dataverse connector that that i mentioned so this is the javascript sdk that uh, like after it will be able to like able to like create data streams and load those update those and you can monetize your data streams from that so for that you need to install the uh, dataverse connector and then initialize it uh, like using the dataverse connector uh, object and uh, this is the basic command that we are using so yeah uh, let's look at some of the system calls over here so uh, this is the create capability so we have uh, a demo here for that so uh, as you can see just go to the wagmi demo connect wallet i think there's some issue with my wallet i'm not able to log into my account let me just uninstall this and install the wallet again i'll use one from the chrome web store that that was the local one so not sure let me just add this new one adding awesome so yeah I think now uh, this should work yeah so it says signing in so the metamask has opened so now we have signed in to our account let me just close these tabs yeah so for an earlier demo that i showed for the create dataverse app so as you can see here we have used the sign in with ethereum version so that tells us that the version that we are connecting to then the chain id nonce issues and expires 
and these resources so what do these resources mean is that we are giving this website the access to the data resources that uh, we are owner of right that's why we are saying yes we are signing in now uh, yeah as you can see this is the uh, address that we created using that particular uh, wallet so let's create a public post so this is something that uh, we have already done on our like backend uh, so that the boilerplate for code for this is uh, obviously on the uh, github so uh, let me just go here so yeah uh, we have created a wallet get current create capability so uh, what does create capability means we are creating a resource that the streams that will be coming under the data models that will be creating right so all those will be uh, like under the these capabilities and you can use the model ids that you deploy uh, to connect uh, with uh, with the uh, with the particular capability so let's sign in yeah uh, so that is that so let's check it's true that we have created now let's create a stream you just check the spec element here so yeah uh, like after creating this stream you can see here we have got the application id the model id and the content so for content you can see here there's the uh, hello text and the stream id so uh, this is like pretty sweet uh, as you can see the data models and the data uh, objects that we have defined so you can make uh, use of these to create a really cool applications so these are the uh, some of the system calls that you can use that is uh, these are the main that we uh, like use a lot that is the creating the capabilities and the streams and then there are functions for like create creating the folders and deleting them then updating those things and the one thing i mentioned right about the monetizing so we also the functions to directly monetize these so all of this uh, comes under the sdk that we have built you can refer uh, these particular like system calls to go through those yeah uh, see, you can see the there's wallet apis for like creating the wallet connecting to the wallet then uh dapp store apis right uh, so for dapp store as i mentioned after deploying your application you get a specific uh, dapp id right so that's how it gets stored to the dataverse ecosystem and any user can uh, access that particular application so uh there's a bounty for uh let me just <clears throat> yeah okay so let me just go over some of the details where is my presentation yeah uh, so we have an active uh, discord and telegram where we like try to give the we are most active and the, any kind of support tech support you'll be needing you'll be uh, like getting the proper answers and uh, you will be properly helped over there so i highly recommend you all to like scan these and uh, join our discord or telegram to uh, for our tech support and uh, yeah uh, so for this particular hackathon the we are giving three prizes of 100 dollars each so and for that we have the best use of dataverse os to build uh, sovereign data applications or its app store then making use of essential functions uh, such as sign in with dataverse and the web native file system so basically the system calls that uh, we are using and what we uh, what do we want you guys to build so uh, as you guys know that uh, it's a decentralized web and there are a lot of toolkits we want to see integrated so you can build the toolkits then you can uh, explore into dao social files ai use cases and integrate the data wallet with uh, filecoin if you have like ever used with filecoin or ipfs uh, you can use do that then uh, create toolkits 
so currently as you have seen we have six toolkits and if you like uh, work like use those toolkits or you uh, if you integrate any other toolkit then that would also be count for the hackathon and then the product ideas mentioned in the guide right uh, so as you can see here we have the in this the particular notion that we have we have already shared with you guys uh, you can see here the product ideas that uh, we want you guys to work on for the ideas so that is web3 bookmark manager so as you can see this is alternative to raindrop.io so this is something that we would like uh, like to see then there is private content marketplace then the private data set for decentralized ai and ebook borrowing web3 version of substack bsci open science so all of these things can be built with the dataverse os uh, sdk and we are here to help you guys uh, do that and for like workshop uh, we also have a workshop related bounty so for you guys to uh, be eligible for winning that you have to uh, as i've uh, like created in here where's that yeah uh, as you can see i have created a new data model and i, I have deployed that uh, using the deploy key and you can find everything in the documentation so what you have to do is you have to uh, like create a, a new like we can say the new data model and then uh, deploy that and just share your the model id link that can be uh, used with it so let me just go into the source folder app and main so this this is the also share show you the github right so uh, for the reference code you can uh, check our github for the dataverse connector for all the system calls that we have used so we have the proper readmes over here to for you guys to like go through and see uh, how each functions are used then we also have the create dataverse app over here the cli so you can like take care of that through here so yeah everything is pretty uh, well defined in uh, these talks and we also have as i mentioned the official developer uh, documentation over here so do make use of these things join our discord and uh, telegram if you want for like tech support and we are like like looking forward to seeing you guys build on top of dataverse awesome 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 so if you guys have any queries let me just uh I'm just opening the chat for the queries just give me a second uh okay there was a lot of chat that I missed I'm so sorry <clears throat> uh okay 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 so yeah uh, there's a question from uh, vikas about how is this different from web3 uh, wallet right so uh, as you know that uh, there are many web3 wallets that are uh, as you can see in the metamask you only can uh, do transactions there's no for your uh, it's not a data wallet right it's just a token wallet similarly the coinbase or any other wallet it's like there is some part like only data wallet or token wallet so what we have done is we have combined everything and i'll just show you one brief uh, a demo app over here i know it's very messy right now the yeah <laughs> so you can also take reference of the past uh, projects that have been built uh, here so you can see we have this uh, playground uh, decentralized app that has been built one of uh, by one of our team members so this is like a decentralized twitter that i mentioned so let me just post lift the code and post so as you can see we all have to log in and then yeah sign in over here So as you can see that I've been logged in with my ID and we are posting this particular uh, maybe uh, kind of a decentralized uh, Twitter. So <laughs> yeah, uh, so as you can see, there's the lift the code over here. And 
whatever as i uh, did this that will be stored directly to my uh, file system over here so let me just open that you can access the file system from uh, the dataverse finder just yeah So yeah, uh, if you guys can see here, we have the Finder and Playground. So Finder is basically the, uh, what we can say, the Web 80 file system that I talked about earlier. So whatever you do activities that uh, maybe right now, just I did live the code kind of uh, a tweet. So that got saved to my file system. Let me just check where it saved. Let's just refresh this. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, as you can see, see uh, we can see here we have lived the code today that we have posted uh, on the playground and this is the uh, model for ID for that. And you can see there's literally one click button to monetize. So when we click on monetize this particular, uh, we can set the price for your particular data. So let's just say one and maximum supply. Let me give it like 10. So and okay. So what is happening right now is the live the code that uh, tweet that we have done that it is getting uh, we are like selling our own data. So like uh, if we, in order to view this data, people have to give me one matic to uh, check it out. So let us sign sign the data. And now it is uh, now this will be connected to on chain NFTs uh, on the Mumbai testnet. We currently have it on the Mumbai testnet. So just a second, give us, let's, let's give it some time. Okay. Till then I'll check out for some questions. Awesome. Hi guys. What kind of change will it, what kind of change will it bring to the people? Oh uh, yeah. So basically the change is that, uh, getting the ownership or own hands, right? The differences that I mentioned in the web one world where we had data, but there was no way to access, uh, that we can share access to anyone. Right. And in the web two world, we, the access was given to a lot of people and there was no control over our data. So web three is like getting the best out of uh, these both worlds. Like it's retaining the security and it's also like, uh, what you can say, uh, retaining the accessibility as well. So these two are like, uh, being taken care of over here. So maybe store data, so maybe it store the data more secure and provide the multi chain experience as well. Uh, so definitely like the, as for the security part, so, uh, we, it like makes use of the ceramic data streams that, uh, if you have like, check, but that all works under the hood. So it's just the data wallet extension. What we are trying to do is it provides the uh added security layer when you i uh, are interacting with different applications right so uh, let us see let us uh, if we are uh, working with one application over here let me just show you through the presentation okay yeah uh, so the thing about security that i mentioned is that uh, if there there is a particular dap and so whatever are signatures that are being linked to this particular DAP, so that cannot be passed on to any other DAP, right? So that is currently uh, possible that if user can maliciously uh, get your uh, signature and uh, the data is not secure in that manner. So what Dataverse OS does is it isolates your signatures from DAP to DAP and that's how it like uh, protects that. And it does that using the uh, EIPs like 4361 and 5573. Uh, if you want to like, uh, see that you can definitely explore more on what these, uh, two EIPs do and, uh, like it makes use of the sign in with Ethereum. So that is the latest standard for anyone to have the structured format and 5573 deals with the recap. So that is giving access of your data resources. So that's how the additional security layer that I've been talking about is built. Uh, in this Dataverse OS uh, wallet. Then uh, this is the composition over here. So as you can see, the kernel is basically uh, what we have uh, built the internal uh, operating system using. 
so that's the kernel and we have also like partnered with the linux foundation that is also uh, helping us to uh, like build this then the system calls as i have mentioned to we can build any sort of dapps and uh, build our business logic on top of that and then the user interfaces uh, like as you can see it's like giving the uh, proper user experience and integrating with the existing wallets and browsers and uh, protocol drivers so it's like the uh, protocols that we have been working with so you can integrating with different protocols and uh, trying to get them and want uh, in the documentation so i'm not uh, linux is not a prerequisite over there then unable to find global bin directory error while doing pnpm install dash g okay so uh so what you have to do is uh what it uh you have to first install the pnpm i'm not sure if you have done let me just go over here uh where's the yeah uh, if you you have to first run this command and install the uh, pnpm so uh, if you have seen that pnpm is basically the uh, faster version of npm uh so that's why it, uh, we are using right now and after installing pnpm then you have to install the uh, create dataverse app so uh, also for the uh, playground i'll just uh, show you one more of encryption part so as you can see i have just posted this but what if you want to post an image right so we also have that image and let me just select one random one not my photo <laughs> if i don't have images let's see dataverse os yeah i'll just paste for the dataverse yeah uh, so this is the image and i can literally encrypt my data over here let me just type this is my logo and so i can encrypt this post as well so by encrypting uh i can just uh, place a tag here that if you want to decrypt this and watch uh, see my data you have to give me two matics and i have unlimited supply and let's click on okay post so what this will do is again uh, open the metamask and this will be uh, this will go to the official uh, dataverse uh, what we can say data model so has opened i have signed it confirm so as this is like uh, getting on chain so that's why it takes uh, some time so yeah as you can see post successful view on dataverse os file system so uh you can see whatever you did on the file system yeah uh, so as you can see what i have did is you can see our post here that just now uh, for two matic uh, i have posted so if anyone wants to unlock this he has to pay me one matic in order to view my uh, logo so and i can also let me go to the playground and see over here that uh this is the particular our data that we have used and this is the file system that i was talking about that whatever data or whatever we play around with gets stored into this file system and we have built in mechanisms for like one click monetization of all of uh, this data so this is the uh, like a really cool example of uh, social applications that is that is being built on top of dataverse right so yeah i think if you let me know how uh, if you are like building on here i would like like to see some really good projects on here and for any kind of support we are always here to like help you guys to uh, build stuff and for any ideas or anything uh, yeah so that's it i hope you guys liked it and i'm looking forward to seeing you all and uh, for the bounties do remember that for the amazon voucher you have to like create a new data model and deploy that to the dapp table and you have to give us the new uh, like submit uh, do add add it to, to to the github and show us the demo 
and also like uh, share us share with us the id uh, that that is being created for that particular data model so yeah i think uh, that is it for now if you guys have any other questions i am here i am checking the chat as well okay nice it's okay got it is there any type of limitation on the type of answer size of data that we can upload to uh, dataverse uh so uh, right now it's uh, there's no, uh, not any limit uh, it basically you it all works on the ceramic and ipfs it's taken care of that but it might uh, take some uh, time to upload some big amount of data so uh, but yeah uh, data can be stored on that already installed pnpa setup already installed still no changes to the environment were made everything is already up to date weird for me it worked can we integrate this with the html css yeah uh, so basically you can uh, create a react app and use all these uh, functions uh, system calls that i've been talked about into that so uh, as i mentioned that for you can also uh, take a reference to uh the previous uh projects that have been built that have made use of these html css and the uh what you can say the react and javascript so all of this is uh in the notion documentation that we have shared where's the notion yeah uh, so this is the notion document that we have shared with you guys already so as you can see we also have the tutorials here so i think this is the best uh, good way to start building on uh, dataverse okay didn't work for me what is the deadline for that can you please explain me what metamask exactly do because i didn't listen before uh, so i'm uh, so metamask is the uh like the wallet that is being used extensively for ethereum and the e evm compatible chains that is being built by the consensus team and as you can uh, let me just show you how it works so metamask what it does is whatever contracts that you do whatever on chain activities that you do you can uh, do it through here then you can have multiple accounts then you can import accounts so all all this stuff and then uh, for the dataverse let me just uh, go over here yeah uh, yeah no yeah so uh, yeah as you can see uh, i can see these are the token assets that i can see and we have the support for uh, like the same things that metamask does and also the data assets so this is what i was talking about the data uh, taking control of your data in hand so the playground and finder these are the current uh, two applications that we have uh, like made live and yeah any more questions and you share the link of your project uh yeah yeah definitely so for the link uh, it's basically uh, just go to the dataverseos.com and you can also find it in the uh, documentation let me just go here and in the documentation you can see uh not how it works let me just yeah code examples uh in the code examples uh, you can see that we have the uh one app that is the playground that i just mentioned and the other app is uh, arazo uh, on top of dataverse so do check these out and there's the source code and there's the live website of that so yeah uh, as you can see uh, one of our project that we got is a really cool uh, note taking uh, note taker so 
do go through that there's also source code for that over here fat garage or also yeah <laughs> so cool if any other questions and for file system it's the uh, link is basically the dataverse os slash finder and the desk desktop so after going to the uh, main website you just have to uh, click on the enter dataverse and it will uh, go over here and you can add your application so these are the frequent applications that you uh, like play around with so currently we have finder and playground and uh, as you can see we have all of these token assets and the data assets over here then the settings part then you can create as you can see you can create identities you can uh, have all our all our links over here and for the data verse wallet please ensure that the version is 0.5.42 so like it everything works because it's in continuous we are doing like continuously it's in development uh, so <laughs> don't want anything to break yeah uh, so like after like creating your application you can uh, literally add your dap over here you can just uh, click the app id and when you click on okay your app will come over here and then people can access that so currently we have a very small ecosystem of projects and definitely like looking forward to your projects can i if i created a lottery system then how can i use dataverse in that i am confused in this uh so for lottery uh i think it's uh that's a very uh, vague thing so how you can use data verse in that is you can uh, create capabilities that uh anyone with the identities that we create using da uh, data verse wallet can uh, join in and you can have some uh, certain amount locked in that we can use and people you can create a random number and uh, like <laughs> after the someone wins then you can just directly create them into your account that can definitely be built using dataverse so uh, for like extra support i would like uh, suggest you to do hop in the discord or uh, for the tech support we'll like guide you from end to end for any thing even from the ideation session so yeah anything else I think I'm uh, like past the time, but definitely here for a minute or two. If there's any question, cool i am not seeing any question so uh i'll just suggest you guys to go through the notion doc then uh, hop in the discord for support and see you guys Okay, let's stop from here.